Hey, if you think Stonehenge is one of the oldest stone monuments ever, well, let me introduce you to Gobekli Tepe. Buckle up, we gotta travel to Turkey to meet this really old guy. Yeah, he's too old to travel. <laughs> Jokes aside, Gobekli Tepe, an archaeological site located in southeastern Turkey that dates back to the Neolithic period, around 10,000 BCE. It's considered to be one of the oldest and most significant archaeological discoveries in recent times. The site consists of a series of circular and rectangular structures made of stone pillars. Yeah, it does look like its younger brother Stonehenge. Some of those pillars are decorated with intricate carvings of animals and other symbols. Now, you may be wondering, hey, why on earth did they make such a fascinating building? What was its purpose? Sorry, I got no answer for that. The purpose of the site is still unknown, but it is believed to have been a ceremonial center for the ancient people who lived in the area. The discovery of Gobekli Tepe has challenged long-held beliefs about the development of human civilization, as it suggests that complex societies may have emerged much earlier than previously thought. Okay, pack your stuff, our travels just started. Next destination, Masada. It's an ancient fortress located in Israel on a plateau overlooking the Dead Sea. Hey, look at that view, spectacular, huh? It was built by King Herod the Great in the first century BCE, and it was very smartly built. Within the fortress, there were various facilities such as storehouses, barracks, a palace, and a set of cisterns capable of holding approximately 40,000 cubic meters of rainwater. People living there believe that the collected runoff from a single day's rainfall could provide sustenance for over a thousand individuals for a period of two to three years. Access to the fortress was limited to three steep and winding paths leading up to fortified gates. Still, at one point, the fortress was occupied by people who had fled Jerusalem after the city was captured by the Romans. They held out against the invaders for several months, but eventually they were defeated. But these guys didn't surrender. The story of Masada has become a symbol of resistance and bravery. Today, Masada is a popular tourist attraction and a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The next flight is going to be short. We're popping over to Egypt to see the Karnak Temple Complex. It's a vast ancient Egyptian temple complex located in the city of Luxor, Egypt. It was built over a period of 2,000 years and covers an area of more than 200 acres. The complex is dedicated to the worship of the deity Amun Roka. Wait a minute, that should be Amun Ra, and it was one of the most important religious centers in ancient Egypt. The Karnak Temple consists of several temples, chapels, and other buildings, including the Great Temple of Amun, the Temple of Khonsu, and the Temple of Ptah. Ptah! The Great Temple of Amun is the largest and most impressive temple in the complex, with massive columns, statues, and other decorations. One of the most famous features of the Karnak Temple complex is the Avenue of Sphinxes, which is a long avenue lined with Sphinx statues that leads from the entrance of the complex to the Great Temple of Amun. Another notable feature is the Hypostyle Hall, which is a massive hall with 134 columns that are over 70 feet high. The Karnak Temple Complex is a popular tourist attraction and a UNESCO World Heritage Site. It's considered one of the most important archaeological sites in Egypt and provides a fascinating glimpse into the religion and culture of ancient Egypt. Hey, we can't hop on the next flight and leave Egypt until we see the Pyramid of Dozier. It has another name, by the way. It's also known as the Step Pyramid. This ancient Egyptian site is located in Saqqara. It was built during the 27th century BCE for the pharaoh Dozier by his architect Imhotep, who is considered one of the most important figures in Egyptian history. People believe this pyramid is the first monumental structure built entirely of stone and is an important example of early Egyptian architecture. The pyramid originally stood at 203 feet tall, and was surrounded by a complex of buildings and courtyards. It was constructed in six layers, each smaller than the one below it, giving it the distinctive step-like appearance. 
The pyramid was used as a burial place for Pharaoh Dozier and was surrounded by a vast necropolis that contained the tombs of many other important officials. Hmm, the Grateful Dead? The Pyramid of Dozier has several renovations and additions over the centuries, including the addition of a limestone casing that covered the original step structure. However, much of the pyramid was destroyed over time, and today only the central core remains. Despite this, it remains an important archaeological site and a popular tourist attraction in Egypt. Alrighty, we're ready to move on. There's one more pretty recent discovery we gotta see today. The Tower of Jericho was only discovered during excavations in the 1950s and 60s. It's an ancient stone tower located in the city of Jericho in the West Bank. Just like Gobekli Tepe, this one is believed to be one of the oldest stone structures in the world, dating back to approximately 8000 BCE. The tower stands at over 28 feet tall. It's made up of two main sections, an inner tower and an outer tower, which are connected by a series of stairs. The purpose of the Tower of Jericho is not entirely clear, but it is believed to have served as a defensive structure or a watchtower. It may have also had religious significance, as it was located near a sacred spring. The Tower of Jericho is a significant archaeological site and has provided valuable insights into the early history of human civilization. It's open to visitors and is a popular destination for tourists interested in ancient history. Now, this ancient site even got attention from Netflix, and they made a movie where the action takes place in Mohenjo-Daro. This site was a major center of the Indus Valley civilization in present-day Pakistan. Mohenjo-Daro was one of the largest cities of the ancient world, with a population estimated to have been around 40,000 in its peak. Trust me, that must have been a crazy megalopolis back then. The city was notable for its advanced urban planning, with sophisticated drainage and sanitation systems, and its impressive architecture, including the Great Bath and the Granary. Mohenjo-Daro was abandoned around 1900 BCE, and its ruins were only rediscovered in the 1920s. Today, it is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and an important archaeological site for the study of ancient South Asian civilization. We're heading to a teeny tiny country that has quite an impressive history. Welcome to Malta. The Zigansia Temples are a Neolithic site located on the Mediterranean island of Gozo. They're probably one of the oldest freestanding structures in the world, dating back to around 3600 to 3200 BCE. The temples consist of two megalithic structures, each with multiple rooms and altars. The name Zigantia means giant tower in Maltese, as people believe that only giants could have built such massive structures. The temples are believed to have been used for religious purposes and are considered to be an important example of prehistoric architecture. They were added to the UNESCO World Heritage List in 1980. Well, you must be pretty tired, but there's one more place we gotta visit today. Our plane is already landing in Armenia, and we're here to see the Temple of Garni. Look, this one is well preserved. This temple dates back to the first century CE. It was built by King Teradatus I as a dedication to the sun deity Mir. Sadly, the temple was destroyed in the 17th century during an earthquake, which is quite a common thing for this area, but it was later reconstructed in the 20th century. Today, it's a popular tourist attraction and is also listed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.